Hello, my name is Terence Barr. I'm a senior technologist with Sun Microsystems and the ambassador for the Java Mobile and Embedded Community. In today's screencast, I would like to show you how to get started with JavaFX Mobile 1.2 Early Access for Windows Mobile. First, let's talk about some highlights. This release is a binary JavaFX stack which implements JavaFX 1.2. It also features support for the Mobile Information Device Profile, or MIDP 2.1, the Connected Limited Device Configuration, or CLDC 1.1a, as well as a number of other JavaMe optional packages. It also features application deployment directly to the device over USB. It works on Windows Mobile 6.0 and 6.1 devices, and keep in mind this is for development purposes only. It has been tested by Sun on the HTC Diamond device as well as the LG Insight. It will probably work on other Windows Mobile devices, but the features, performance and functionality may vary. For more information, including limitations, please see the release notes and the installation guide. In today's screencast, I would like to demonstrate the cross-platform abilities of the JavaFX platform. To do that, I will use the Mosaic sample application which can be found on the samples page of javafx.com. Where we use NetBeans to build and run this application on a desktop, in a web browser, on the JavaFX mobile emulator, and on the HTC Diamond device. You can see a screenshot of that application running on the HTC Diamond here. If you want to follow along, please be aware of the following requirements. You will need NetBeans 6.5.1 with the JavaFX 1.2 SDK installed. Also, of course, you will need a Windows Mobile 6.0 or 6.1 device. Please note, Microsoft ActiveSync 4.5 is required if you want to deploy applications over USB. For Mac and Linux desktops, please be aware that the JavaFX mobile emulator and the USB deployment feature are currently not yet available. However, on these platforms you can still build your application and then deploy it manually to your device. With that, let's get started. First, we'll go to javafx.com. Here you can see the announcement for the availability of the Windows Mobile version. So let's go to the download page. As mentioned before, we will be using NetBeans 6.5.1, including the JavaFX 1.2 SDK. So if you haven't installed this yet, please download and install it now. Next, we will download the bundle which contains JavaFX Mobile 1.2 for Windows Mobile. Once you download and unzip the bundle, you will see it contains a disk directory which holds bin and docs. The bin directory simply holds the cab file, which is the JavaFX mobile executable to be installed onto the Windows mobile device. The docs directory contains the installation guide, the release notes, and other documentation. To install the JavaFX mobile stack, you simply copy the cab file over to the Windows mobile device and then execute the cab file to run the installer. For details, please refer to the installation guide. Let's have a look at an actual HTC Diamond device. Please excuse the slightly washed out look of the video recording. The HTC Diamond actually has a fairly high resolution screen and the video camera is not able to capture that correctly under all lighting conditions. Once the JavaFX stack has been installed, it should show up in the program section of the device. So let's start JavaFX. JavaFX comes up with the application management screen showing the list of installed applications. The JavaFX Mobile Early Access Bundle comes with four pre-installed applications. Let's run one of these for testing purposes.
This is the mobile display shelf application, which simply displays a number of images on a round robin shelf. Since the HCC Diamond is a touchscreen device, we can use the stylus to skip from image to image. This application works fine, so let's exit. Now let's have a look at the Mosaic sample application. Back from the JavaFX.com homepage, we'll click on the Sample Applications page. This is Mosaic, so let's run it. Mosaic is a JavaFX Flickr client that retrieves images from Flickr via the RESTful Web Services API and then scatters them around the border of this window. The user interface metaphor allows the user to organize and view pictures by dragging them to the center where they're magnified and dropping them elsewhere around the border of the window. The full source code is available for download. We will download the source code, which is a NetBeans project, and use it for the rest of the screencast. Here we have NetBeans, and let's open the project that we just downloaded. NetBeans can build and deploy JavaFX applications to a number of different platforms. To change the platform, go into the Project Properties, into the Run category, and select the appropriate application execution model. Let's build and run with the standard execution. So here we have Mosaic again, same application. But now running as a desktop application in a separate window. Let's close this. To demonstrate how easy it is to run the same application in a browser environment, Let's go into the project properties and change the application execution model to run in a browser. Note that we are not changing any of the application code. By hitting the run button, NetBeans will build and redeploy the application as appropriate for the browser environment.